Today we're going to talk about scouting for turkey in the winter time, dead of winter. It's uh, February right now, early February. Scouting this time of year is not going to tell you where the birds are going to be when season opens. Sometimes they'll be in the same place, but right now birds are flocked up. Depending on where you go and how much walking you do, you might walk all day and not even see any turkeys. But ideally, you want to at least see some sign or maybe see a few birds just to tell you that they're in the area. Here in the next month, month and a half, they're going to start fighting and breaking up and getting ready for the breeding season. So, so what you're looking for this time of year is just to learn the lay of the land. So right now I'm out here scouting, uh, just kind of walking the ridges. It looked good on the map, had a good mix of habitat, some hardwood ridges like, like what I'm in now, and a little bit of river bottom and, and um, some fields mixed in. So it looked like a good mix of habitat, so, so I came out to check. Now I'm just covering as much ground as possible, trying to learn terrain features that don't show up on the topo map or how open the canopy is, you know, I need to see the woods in person. So what we're looking for here is um, potential roosting places, not where they're roosting now necessarily, but where they'll probably be roosting in the spring. So any points coming off a main ridge, especially points leading into a creek bottom, any kind of uh, bluff or ridge overlooking a field in the bottom, of course I'm looking for a sign too just to tell me that there are some birds here. So what I got right here in front of me looks like some scratch. Now I had been, yeah this is fresh right here. So I had been seeing tons of armadillo sign and there's some right here actually but I started coming into old scratch as I was coming off this this ridge. This ridge is dropping down into a creek bottom and we're probably about a third of the way down. And the farther downhill I get, the more scratch I'm seeing and the more fresh it is. Some of this is really fresh. If y'all are in an area that's got armadillos, you're just going to have to get used to. You may already be used to the, uh, picking out the difference between armadillo sign and turkey scratch. Turkey scratch is going to be like this, just scratched. And usually there will be some fluffed up leaves on one side because it, it's they're like chickens turkey will stand here and scratch so it can pick around and eat and stuff armadillos they'll kind of zigzag and bulldoze through the leaves and they'll even dig little holes because they're they're eating bugs so this right here is armadillo you can see where it actually dug in like a miniature hog they actually root around a little bit so we got a mix here obviously there's been armadillo sign everywhere but we have got into some fresh scratch I'm going to drop a pin here on Onyx. This could be a roosting site in the spring. It's uh, the end of a secondary point coming off a big ridge line. This is where it finally drops off and eventually there's a creek bottom down there. And there's a lot of sign here. It's kind of a bench. I'm coming down into the creek bottom here. And now these birds could roost all the way down by the creek or they could roost up on that point. Just keep in mind, if you're scouting this time of year, you're not looking for a place to set up on opening morning. You do want to look for listening spots. In this case, it would be where I came from, uh, up on top of the ridge, up on top of the big ridge. That's the best listening spot, because I can listen down on the other side, and I can listen down on this side. I can hear the long ways from up there. Woven wire fences. Uh, if you come across a woven wire fence, might as well drop a pin on it, because if you find yourself setting up on a bird and he gets hung up behind that fence, most of the time they won't cross it, so it's good to know where those are. Any kind of obstacles that you wouldn't see on the map, drop a pin there just to remind yourself, hey, gobbler might not cross that. Could be a creek, sometimes I'll cross creek, sometimes I won't. Woven wire fences are the devil. Another thing I'm going to be looking for is access points and hunter signs, sign of hunting pressure. Now it's pretty hard this time of year to gauge turkey hunting pressure because uh, I mean you're not going to find boot tracks from last year's turkey hunting pressure or anything like that. But you may find uh, certain types of trash or uh, trails or maybe an easy access point that you didn't know about. Spent turkey shells is a big one. Uh, you might find a, you know, three or three and a half inch high brass turkey load. Uh, I have found several old shells, some high brass, some low brass. 
but they were all just normal game loads. I don't think they were from turkey hunters and they were not not recent. They were rotted out pretty well. Uh, the occasional beer can, but uh, it doesn't look like it's getting, like it gets hunted too hard. Now I could be wrong, but I'm not seeing obvious signs that it gets hammered. Not seeing any turkey sign up here. Now that may change before the spring, but right now they're on the lower half of the hillside down towards the creek. And they probably will be to some extent in the spring season. All right, I just come out in this field here. Um, looks like they run cattle, at least sometimes. Um, now, I haven't seen any turkey sign over here yet. There may not be any turkeys using this field right now, but I almost guarantee there will be birds in here at some point during the spring. Just strutting. It, it's, uh, it's too good of a place for a gobbler to strut around with his hands. I'll bet there will be in here. But uh, just another spot to mark on the map and uh, keep it in mind. I don't know what the hunting pressure is going to be like, so if there's a bunch of people, then... I guarantee at least a few of them will be on this field, so I might I might want to avoid it. It just depends on how the hunting pressure is. Scouting another piece of property here. Looks good on the map. Ooh, there's some fresh boot tracks. It's not anything but squirrel season right now. Or small game seasons. It looks like this gets some hunting pressure. People are throwing trash back here. I bet you it's not all hunters but it most likely does get hunted at least somewhat. Got what looks like a four-wheeler trail. I know they're not allowed to ride them up here, but looks like that's what they be doing. Not a whole lot, but there's definitely tracks from, you know, past month or two, I guess. Remember what I said about you may walk a long ways in the winter time and not see a single sign of a turkey because uh, they are flocked up and they're only in certain places in big groups so uh, I may not find any sign up here but I'm hoping I find something that just tells me there's some here if they're somewhere close by they're gonna be up in these hills in the spring for sure Looks like this might be some old scratch here. See those spots? Definitely not fresh, but definitely does look like turkey scratch. Hold up. Some more here. That one looks kind of fresh, doesn't it? See, again, we're coming down into a creek bottom. Or some kind of drainage. Maybe not a creek bottom, but I found that sign halfway down to the bottom just like last time so seems to be a recurring theme it's a little bit different habitat down here there's more water more greenery and there's probably a creek somewhere so uh, yeah the turkeys like that edge between the high ridges and the less green drainage bottoms and in the spring they'll be more up on the ridges but well they'll be everywhere in the spring I, I hope there's some trash down here This next ridge looks really good because it's got multiple fingers coming off of it. That's where I'm going now. Alright, we're up top here. Still not seeing anything too promising. I did see some scratch a while back, so that's good. I'm going to keep going. and try to make a big loop through this piece. It's a, quite a bit of land. See that ridge over there? I'm gonna go down into this big hollow and back up. And we're gonna either drop off the other end of the ridge or probably follow it out that way and then make a huge loop all the way back to the truck. So here goes nothing. Might find something cool. Okay, so I lied. We're not going up on this ridge. This is just a point. We're going up on that ridge.
All right, I'm gonna keep going. Leave these eagles alone. They're not too happy about me being this close to their nest, even though I can't reach it. They don't like me even being in the woods where they can see me. So we're gonna keep going. Uh, see if we can get any turkey sign. I gotta start making my way back pretty soon. So we'll see what we get into. Well, I found some turkey sign down in the bottom. There's more deer sign down here too in the bottom. We're gonna work our way around these little sloughs here and, and then get back up on the ridge and go back to the truck. All right, y'all just came out of the bottom. There's some fresh scratch right here. See, they got the ground tore up pretty good. That's promising. Now they got this all tore up through here. I don't know if y'all can tell where the leaves are roughed up. This scratch right there, all through here. There's been a number of birds through here. I've seen enough scratch in here just in this one area to tell me it's probably worth checking out here in April during season. I might could kill one in here. Don't know what the hunting pressure is like, but I guess I gotta go to find out. Well, it looks like we've come back to the trail I came in on where this trash is. And the original scratch I'd seen was up that way. And then all the scratch I just saw was all down this hillside. Looking on Onyx, there's a knoll out there. And then on the other side of it is water. That's probably a great spot to start in the spring is out on that knoll or up on one of these ridges where I can hear everything. But uh, I like it. No, no sign on this side of the trail. And I went a long ways back there. Probably, probably walked several miles. No sign over there. It's all over here. Of course, they'll disperse going into the spring. They'll start fighting, breaking up. Flocks will break up. We'll have, probably have satellite birds on different ridges scattered throughout here. Um, I guess I won't know until I go in April. I can't promise I'll be here because I'm scouting other places too. I hear turkeys scratching. We're going to try to get a look at what they are. Long beards. Sorry, it won't focus. Well, y'all, that told me everything I needed to know. A whole flock of long beards. I couldn't get a count on them, but it was enough to say I'm coming in here to hunt at some point during the season. So, didn't really have too much to cover. Just two main points is get to know the land and uh, see if you can find any sign that there are turkeys nearby. So, you know, it's worth hunting. And then that's about all you can do in the wintertime. You're not gonna know for sure where they are in the spring, but you can at least get a head start and be familiar with the area when you do go in the spring. I wouldn't recommend going and doing this kind of hardcore scouting right before season. See, those uh, long beards, I just spooked them. They kind of ran off. You don't want to go spooking turkeys all over the woods a few days before you hunt them. It just doesn't make sense. So, uh, if, you're gonna, if you insist on scouting right before season, get to a listening spot where you can get in and get out without spooking anything. Go in before daylight, let the sun come up. See where you hear them on the roost. That'll give you a starting point for opening day. So, hope you all enjoyed. I'll be back in the woods soon doing some more scouting. Hopefully get on the water here soon. So, uh, stick around. I'll see you all next time.